welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odom, where we bring you all the exciting action of the Jaguar Football Program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, the Louisiana Lottery, Healthy Blue, Communities of Color Network, Tobacco Free Living, The Grind Inside Quarters, and Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Hello and welcome to week eight of the Jaguar football show with coach Dawson Odoms where we come to you each week from quarters located at the corner of Sherwood Forest and Corsi Boulevard. We're in the grind, a wonderful place to get some great food, some good drinks and some great conversation. Come Mondays about 12 o'clock, talk a little SU football when we finish done shooting the show. We come on about six times a week. You can see the graphic there and you can also catch us anytime you want on our YouTube and Facebook channel. Coach, jumping into this, big congratulations on a huge win uh, over the Prairie View Panthers. We go to PV and take down the Panthers in their jungle, 38 to zero. And of course, on this night, we couldn't start to show off without talking about your defense that pitched a shutout. And the most glaring thing was the five big interceptions on the night. Congrats to Coach Trey Oliver for dialing up a good game. Well, you know, it's always great. You know, I think one of the toughest things in football is to get a shutout. And, you know, proud of those guys to just keep working and keep believing in what we're doing and trusting the process. And I think you got a chance to see what the bye week was, we was able to get some rest. And you saw an Eagle football team that wanted to taste victory. And uh, we got to continue to play like that down the stretch. Coach, numbers don't lie. And on this night that we beat the Panthers, first downs, 26 for the Jaguars, 18 for the Panthers rushing 350 yards to 61 yards. Uh, we didn't beat them in passing yards, but Darius Skelton, what a name, used his first opportunity to start as quarterback for the Jaguars, and his numbers didn't lie either. 209 yards on the ground with three touchdowns, 168 yards through the air with one touchdown. The young man certainly made a statement for himself, Coach. Well, exactly. I think he embraced the opportunity. He did a great job of keeping his composure and, and just making timely pay, uh, plays for us, both with his arm and with his legs. So the biggest thing now was just staying composed, staying humble, and, and coming to work again this week and see if we can't put a better game plan together this week and see if we can continue the success. Uh, we got a little momentum now, uh, continue to ride it, and, and hopefully he can continue to lead us uh, going forward. Well, Coach, let's jump into those highlights from the Prairie View Panthers uh, game this past Saturday. And uh, right here you're gonna see uh, a great stop by Montavious Gaines. Coach, your secondary played lights out all game. You know, and, and we knew they was gonna try to throw the football and it was just great to see those guys make some plays early. And I think that led to some momentum throughout the game. Here you see Skelton using his feet for six. Then he's gonna come back and use his feet for 11 more. Then Devon Ben is gonna get on the action for nine yards. Unfortunately, we didn't get a touchdown on this drive, but we did get a three uh, on a field goal by Fontenot. Coach, we got to put those uh, points on the board, those touchdowns on the board when we get down in that red zone. Well, exactly. You know, I thought for most part throughout the day we did a great job. I think we were five or six opportunities in the red zone, and you know, I think we went uh, six for six with our kicks. So it's just great to see those guys get points because it, it's tough, and you, you definitely want to get seven when you're in the red zone. Well, uh, what you saw was Tillman with a great tackle, Ben with a good run, then Skelton running for seven, then Skelton running for 18, then Skelton takes it in uh, for the two-yard touchdown, and Fontenot with a good kick at this juncture, Coach. We're going we're gonna to be up 10-0, to zero, and actually I could feel the energy from the Jaguar football team all the way up in the press box. You guys were playing on a nice high. Well, you know, and I, I think it's all about momentum and it's just effort. And, you know, our biggest thing is uh, attention to detail and just great effort. And, you know, that's what I tell them. We owe the supporters of this university is that we go out and play the game with the right effort. And I thought Saturday they did that. You saw a great swarming defensive play. And then you saw Skelton taking one for 56 yards. Then he comes back and he hits Catalan. And then Catalan takes a fake uh, field goal right up the middle of the field for a 25-yard touchdown. 
Coach, I love the leadership and the effort of that young man, Kendall Catalan. Well, you know, when you call those plays, it's good to have some guys out there that can execute it. And, you know, that, that was a tough decision. You know, you got to put a lot of trust in him. And anytime Tian has the football in his hands, he's a, he's a trustworthy guy. Here you see Skelton going through the air, hitting Mackey, who takes it for a 25-yard scamper. Then Ben rushes for five yards. We're back on defense. Here you see a great effort by the defense, loss of one. Then you see a sack by Lewis. Coach, y'all had, what, three sacks on the day? Uh, four. Four and sacks. Two on one by Jordan Lewis, a true freshman from out of Florida, man. What a tremendous start to the season he's having. He had, he had two sacks right back to back there. Great interception right here by Demario Houston. Like to see them get in that box, you know, we had five interceptions. Uh, like to see them guys take a couple of those back to the box. Here you see Skelton using his feet for four. Then Skelton's going to hit Houston for 12. Then Skelton's going to take it in for himself, coach, on a seven yard scamper. At this juncture, it's 24 to zero Jaguars as we head into the half. And right now, the Jaguar Nation, I'm sure, was talking a lot of stuff in the stands <laughs> and feeling really, really high. Well, you know, you should. I mean, I, I think the way those guys were playing, I, I think they had control of the game or really from the outset. You know, I thought our guys played with a lot of emotion, a lot of passion, and, you know, I'm just happy for them to be able to taste that kind of first-half success. Well, you saw it, the Jaguars playing great in the first half. When we come back, we'll look at the second half highlights from the Southern Prairie View game on the Jaguar football show with coach Dawson Odoms. Welcome to the Multiplier Games. Multiply your winnings five times. Times twenty times fifty times win up to two hundred thousand dollars. Louisiana Lottery, multiply your play. No. for some great food and to have a great time? Well, come eat, drink, play, and win at Quarters. We've got $7.99 lunch specials Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Or you can kick back after work with happy hour from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Then reverse happy hour from 9 p.m. to close in. Bold, play laser attack and arcade games and eat some of the best food in Baton Rouge seven days a week, only at Quarters. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Of course, we come to you from the grind inside quarters located at the corner of Sherwood Forest and Corsi Boulevard. We invite you to come out Mondays about 12 noon, catch the show, talk some SU football. Coach, jumping into this 24 up at the half, uh, your team has really been scoring at a nice clip. What did you tell your team to guard against a letdown in the second half? Because Prairie View have been scoring a lot of points. Well, our biggest thing was, you know, 30 minutes. Uh, just give them, give them 30 minutes of your best and make sure that the effort is still where it needs to be and attention to detail. And really, that's all we talked about. And our guys came out in the, in the second half and we challenged the offense to put a touchdown on the board right away. And, and let's see if we just take these guys' will. And I thought our guys came out in the second half and, and did a great job of executing our halftime adjustments. Coach, we spoke about them in the first segment. Kendall Catalan really came to play. 52 yards and one TD rushing, 26 yards receiving. But what I saw is he made some huge blocks to spring yeah. runners all night and just really did those things that don't show up in the stats 
that really helped us to win that game. And the effort really, really deserved the shout out to him. Well, exactly, you know, and the receivers never know when the play go break. So whether you're on the front side, the back side, you got to block, you know, we're calling some of those QB runs and, and we know we get the running game going, but those long runs don't happen unless receivers are blocking. Big plays don't happen on offense unless receivers are blocking. So you're right, he's one of our better football players when it comes from an effort standpoint. And he's always around the football, he's always electric, he's always upbeat, he's always positive. And I think that's the kind of attitude you got to have, and a lot of our guys have it. I think that's why they voted him team captain as a sophomore. Well, Coach, let's jump into those second half highlights and show the Jaguar Nation and football fans exactly what happened. Right here, you're going to see uh, Mackey with a nice return on the kickoff. 34 yards. He gave you a good effort on this night also, Coach. Well, outstanding. Just glad to see those guys playing well. And you can see what, what kind of talent we have. And it's just a matter of uh, the confidence was always there. Now you're starting to see them make plays. And when they do that, they're a different group of guys. You saw Cheney rush for six. You saw uh, Skelton evade the rush and, and pick up 18. Then he hits Mackey for seven. He's going to come back and hit Catalon for 20. And right now we're clicking, Coach. Well, and that's the rhythm you got to have, and that, that's what we've been missing is just consistency. And uh, I think you see once we're able to move the ball, throw it, run it, keep a defense off balance, and guys are able to make plays. Great pass and catch right there by Trey Smith for a touchdown. Uh, Fontenot makes the point after at this juncture. We're up 31-0. to zero. Uh, On the defensive side, great quarterback hurry by Champion. Then... Backs against the wall. We come up with a great interception right here, Coach. Uh, by, I think that was Carter. Caleb uh, Carter. Caleb Carter. Come great up. great uh, uh, scoring drive, thwarted. And then Skelton hits Craig for 34. Catalong rushes for 24 on a nice pitch from Skelton. This was just purely individual effort right here by Catalong, Coach. I really enjoyed this run. Well, it's just the heart and the desire from an individual that just love playing the game. Skelton hits uh, Stevens for 31, and then he... Uh, That's Register Hunter, I believe. Hunter. That was Hunter, okay. Yep, that was Hunter Register. We got it wrong. Uh, Hunter Register. Then, unfortunately, uh, Skelton fumbles the ball. One of his few mistakes on the game, Coach. Well, exactly. got to protect it. We was going in, 96-yard drive. Uh, eight about eight minutes off the clock, and when you do that, you want to reward yourself with a touchdown. But your defense saves the day. Papillon comes up with a great interception. Uh, you know, I got to give it to your defense, Coach. They really, really played lights out all night. Every time it seems like some of the momentum had swung, the defense stood up and really, really played stout. Well, you're right, and I think that's, that's what you got to have if you want to be successful in football is that you want an offense that's, that's playing consistent, moving the ball, staying on the field on third down, and you want a defense that's getting off the field. And when you do that, you got a chance to win games. Had to show that punt by Barajas, Coach. That was about a 60-yard punt. I'm sure the wind helped out because those winds were blowing that night in, in Prairie View. But still, great, great effort on that punt. Well, exactly. And he's been doing a great job for us. And our special teams were great. And I think when you do that, you got a chance to be successful. You saw a sack there by Davis. Skelton's going to rush for 14. Then he's going to hit Trey Smith for 14. He's going to run it again for 10. Then he's going to run one for 15. Coach, this young man can use his feet. Yeah, he's, he's a great athlete. One of the better athletes on our team. Uh, tremendous strength and you know, great composure, uh, still working on, uh, continuing to improve as a great leader. Uh, but I think he's doing all the right things, and, and I'm happy for him. You know, when you get your opportunity, you've been sitting around, you've been waiting, you got to make the best of it, and he embraced it and did a great job. Chaney ran for eight, Mims eight, Skelton took it in. Of course, that was the final score, 38-0 to Jaguars. Of course, you had a shocked Prairie View Panther Stadium. Uh, and you had a shock Southern University faithful, as everybody was saying, where was this team two weeks ago? When we come back, we're going to talk about our players of the week, and we'll have our Coca-Cola player interviews on the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. I 
have two kids, and like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Healthy Blue for our Healthy Louisiana plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Healthy Blue. Call 1-855-229-6848 today. That's 1-855-229-6848. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms, and if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style, and most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy, and this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Welcome back to the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, every uh, week in this show, in this segment, we have the Alpha Media Players of the Week. It had to be a hard time picking Players of the Week with a game like this for all the guys who played well. Who were the Alpha Media Players of the Week on offense, defense, and special teams? Well, offensively, it was uh, Ladarius Skelton who turned in a tremendous performance and uh, J5 did an outstanding job. We got five guys' names that start with the letter J that played extremely well on offense. But Ladarius Skelton, you know, what a game, man. Hopefully we can continue that performance down the stretch. Defensively, you know, a lot of guys played well on that side of the ball. But the defensive player of the game was Caleb Carter, did an outstanding job of interceptions right there on the goal line to turn them away and just making plays all over the field. So, and special teams, Martel Fontenot was perfect on his kicks and did an outstanding job for us. So, uh, but a lot of guys played well. Our field goal team did an outstanding job. And, you know, like you said, it's hard to pick one, but those are three guys that stand out as the Alpha Media Players of the Week. Congratulations to those gentlemen. Coach, um, after the game, we had a chance to catch up with a couple of the players. Uh, and, of course, from the media, we want to say thank you for letting the kid yeah. players be uh, available again because uh, we really wanted to talk to them and get their take. Joe Dupree filed this report on the Coca-Cola player interviews. Well, Todd, the fifth quarter is going down here at Prairie View, and we had a night tonight as Kendall Canalong, number 10, returns back to his home state of Texas. Two touchdowns tonight. Kendall, tell me about the productivity of the offense. Oh, you know, tempo, uh, nobody can stop our tempo and Prairie View fast, but if we went tempo the whole night, they, they couldn't stop it. Quarterback Skelton doing his thing. Talk about the player, our new quarterback, as he stepped in. He's fun to watch. He's fun to play with, and I enjoy him being our quarterback. But uh, now, you know, we got to proceed, lead, and uh, do a little more because we know uh, we can put up more points against Purvy tonight. We continue to show how we put the D in defense. We're here with Houston and Gaines. Both of them had an INT apiece. Listen, I'm going to start off with you, Demarius. How does it feel with this swarming defense that we have here? It feels very good. Gives us a lot of confidence for this game and, and goes into next week. And uh, Mr. Gaines, looking at the way the Jaguar defense is playing, how do we sustain this as we continue moving on in SWAC? Uh, we just got to build on this. Uh, we got just got to build on this team win. So basically, every week we're just trying to get better and better every week. Family, five interceptions all together. The defense was on fire. Uh, any closing words for the fans? Go Jags! That's it, and you heard it right here on the Jaguar Football Show. All right, thank you, Joe. Good job, Montavious. Good job, Demario. Both of those gentlemen had iron interceptions. Uh, Coach, it was really a, a tip drill kind of night. Three interceptions off of tips. Your guys have really been practicing those tip drills, yeah. huh? Oh, Johnny on the spot. You know, I just think it's being in position is one thing, but finishing the play is another. And I thought these guys were around the football, and that's what effort do for you. If you got to get around the football, you got a chance to make plays. And, I was happy for those guys. That back seven did a tremendous job for us getting takeaways. 
Coach, to wrap up the Prairie View talk, we really did look like a different team. The energy, the purpose, the sheer swagger of punching a team in the mouth all night and this, you know, really, really showing them that they were a better team. That's what the performance looked like on the field Saturday night in Prairie View. Well, you know, much needed rest. You know, I really thought we were a tired football team. The first half of the season was very long, very draining, and very difficult and very challenging. But I thought we weathered the storm. Uh, we know we had to play better. Uh, I, th I think the mindset was better. And going in the second half of the season, our guys understand this. We've been pretty good in the month of October, but we always seem to be pretty good after bye weeks. And it's just good to see those guys come together as a group of guys and, and decide how they want to be remembered and what they want to win going forward. And I like the effort and the dedication and the determination. I think you got a chance to see that against PV. Well, stay with us when we come back. We're going to look forward to next weekend's big game. It'll be a new experience for the Jaguars, the State Fair Classic in Dallas, Texas, against the Texas Southern Tigers. So stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Welcome to the Multiplier Games. Multiply your winnings five times, ten times, twenty times, fifty times. Win up to two hundred thousand dollars. Louisiana Lottery. Multiply your play. for some great food and to have a great time? Well, come eat, drink, play, and win at Quarters. We've got $7.99 lunch specials Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Or you can kick back after work with happy hour from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Then reverse happy hour from 9 p.m. to close in. Bold, play laser attack and arcade games and eat some of the best food in Baton Rouge seven days a week, only at Quarters. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, uh, this weekend we go to Dallas to play the Texas Southern Tigers in the State Fair Classic. First things first, another classic game on our schedule. How do you like these type of games and how did this game come to be on our schedule? Well, you know, I, I think it's great because uh, we have a, a great alumni in the state of Texas and uh, I think it's good to play games over there. It's, it's a new opportunity for us. Uh, I don't know if we ever played in the State Fair Classic before, but getting a chance to play in the Cotton Bowl in another venue that I think our guys will enjoy playing in. Uh, it ought to be a great environment, the State Fair last weekend, so it should be a lot of people, should be fun. But I really enjoy it. It's a neutral site game, so it gives us a chance to, to really be the home team because we know our supporters are going to be in in droves. Uh, you know, Jaguar Nation really comes out and we thank them for their support because it feels good being on the road playing with a lot of people that are supporting you that wear blue and gold. Coach, Texas Southern is coming off of a 34-17 to loss to Grambling this weekend. Um, tell us a little bit about what Coach Mike Hayward and his team like to do on offense and defense. Well, they, they played three quarterbacks on offense. They they spread you out, they go two tight ends and, and try to run the football and they'll spread you out and throw the football. It's just, you know, it's just one of those things where they was in that football game, a couple of turnovers here and there led to the separation. They're a very good football team and a physical football team. So we'll get challenged offensively. Uh, I think it's always important. You got to stop the run first and foremost and, and hopefully our pass defenders can continue to play with some confidence. Offensively, we've got to move the football, got to find a way to run the football because they're stout against the run. 
And we know when we're able to run the football, we win, we win football games. So our playmakers are going to have to step up, and ultimately special teams are going to have to play extremely well. And I think at the end of the day, it's going to come down to which team play with the great effort and passion that it takes to win a football game. Coach, one thing I've noticed about Texas Southern, they sit at 1-5 and five on the season, but some of their games have been kind of close. Uh, and everybody always gets up to play the Southern Jaguars. How do you guard against a letdown, against a team who's 1-5, and five, and sometimes your players may think, well, this is a 1-5 and five team. How do you guard against something like that? Well, we don't play against records. We play against those guys that's behind that face mask, and we don't really know what they're doing, but we're in full control of what we're doing, and that's the mindset that we've been talking about in October, just really working on our psyche. And I think our guys have a good understanding of what we're trying to do and how we're trying to do it, and they understand the preparation involved. They know each week you got to get a little bit better. You got to challenge yourself to do a little bit more, and I think they're ready for that challenge. Coach, of course, we're talking about the State Fair uh, in Dallas, a huge event. Are you going to allow your kids to take in the fair uh, outside of some of the events around the game? Uh, probably not. They're, they'll be there just focusing on things that we got to do, just try to keep them you know, away from all those distractions. We have enough distractions as it is just because this game is mentally, and I think when we're mentally locked in and all in about what we're trying to get done, attention to detail and playing with great effort, we're as good as anybody on our schedule. All right, when we come back, we'll close out this week's edition of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Oakley. I have two kids, and like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Healthy Blue for our Healthy Louisiana plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Healthy Blue. Call 1-855-229-6848 today. That's 1-855-229-6848. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms, and if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style, and most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy. And this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! All right, that's all the time we have for this week. Go, go Jags! Jags.